Good morning from Bulgari Hotel. We're here in Dubai to celebrate the High Jewelry Collection. In a rare interview, I'm going to let you meet the woman behind the brand, the creative director, Lucia. Welcome. Thank you. Now, I know you've been to Dubai several times. Yes. And we always chat about the process, but I wanted to share with the viewers of what it's like to be in your creative mind. From a sketch to a final product, to what we're going to see in just a few minutes. So actually we have uh, two main processes for the, the high jewelry. One process when we work with diamonds. So we start from an idea, from a suggestion, from the pictures, and then we buy diamonds. When we work with color gems, we start from the gems. So I can say the gem is the first inspiration, first source of inspiration for me. And so we start from, from the color gems. So for instance, if you want to see this beautiful piece that is with this emerald, uh, we start the idea to think about the necklace in this case because of the emerald. And uh, I remember when I bought the emerald because I saw the emerald in uh, Hong Kong the first time and it was bigger than this but not perfect and uh, I was thinking about how could be perfect and so I studied the stone and we recut the stone in this shape so I could see the life, the world inside of the gem. I mean it is so amazing to see how transparent this piece yes. is. It's, it's, a, it's a really really amazing and there is a, a word, really a world inside of the gem. So the gem you discover it yeah. and then what is the process? You start designing, do you create a collection or is it piece by piece? So actually we buy the stones uh, when I found a stone that can be a Bulgari gem we buy the, the, the stone and then uh, we decided the, the theme of the collection and I use the, 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 the stone thinking about the theme. Uh, of course, uh, the, for, uh, for the collection, we need one year to create all the collection, but uh, I start to collect the gems two, three years back. And I, you just mentioned it's a Bulgari stone. What yeah. makes Bulgari so special? When a consumer is buying from your collection, from Bulgari, the house of Bulgari, what is the criteria? Awesome. before you cut it because high jewelry is a piece that is shared from generation to generation. Absolutely. For this reason, we put a lot of attention in gems. Gem has to be, uh, the color has to be vivid, uh, not too dark, not too light, but vivid. Vivid and happy color. I, I, I say that, uh, we like to say that Bulgari has stones with happy colors. And then the cut is very important. And sometimes we can make a stone much better than the beginning, just with the cut. A little, a little touch of cut make can change the completely, dimensions. Completely. And what are some of your favorite pieces? Do you have any emotional attachment being a designer that you see a collection before it gets sold? Uh, you know, uh, I love all the pieces and they are kind of my kids in some way and uh, I love all, all of them. All of them have a story behind and uh, so for this, uh, for this example we have uh, the, the emerald and you can see the sketch so it was uh, not easy to find also the, the beads, the same color. So for Bulgari it's important gems, but it's important, creativity and also craftsmanship. If you see the back of the necklace and you can touch the necklace, it's soft, it's not rigid. And it sits, it sits perfectly on the exactly. skin. Exactly. And I'm so lucky that I can try everything. So I like to, to give a touch of femininity in this uh, male world. You are, I mean, you brought it up. You are a female creative director of this incredible house. How? What does that responsibility feel like? Because you understand the consumer and I truly believe that your longevity in your career in a world where jobs are changing frequently, you are in tune with the consumer, you understand what women want. What does that responsibility feel like? It's a bigger responsibility, of course, but I started uh, more than 40 years ago. 
So I was five years old. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it could be 21. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, when, I, when I started, I started with the, the three brothers, Bulgari brothers, and so they are my mentors, my teachers, and I understood everything from them. So I started to develop my creativity uh, from them, uh, buying the gems, because one of the first lessons that I learned from them was uh, don't buy a gem if you don't know how you can use it. Wow, that's a great tip. Yes, and so uh, from that moment I started to think about creativity, people, consumers, price, because uh, it's a very important a part of my job is the negotiation wow. <laughs> with the suppliers. Uh, that's a, uh, it's a very male world. Dominated world, oh, yes. Absolutely, <laughs> and especially when I was young, uh, it was very difficult for me to deal with them. Uh, no one wants to uh, negotiate with me because I was a young girl. So it was quite difficult. But now I'm very proud to say that I'm the only one. You have one. a seat at the table, yes, right? Exactly, yes. exactly. So it's, uh, it's well, amazing. You're job. an incredible mentor to so many women around the globe who literally, like me, think you have the dream job. How do you get there? What was that journey? Was it growing up and going to gemology school? or What was that process? Actually, it was a lucky coincidence. My father was working in Bulgari and I applied for a maternity uh, substitution and, uh, and so I, I supposed to be in Bulgari just for three months and because I was studying biology and wow, really? I, yes, I, I, very, I, I was very involved in, in my study. So I, I told to my father, yes, but just for three months and after more than 40 years, I'm here because I felt in love with gems, with jewelry, and especially the, the brother, the three brothers, Bulgari brothers, gave me the opportunity to grow up uh, with this passion because now is my, my secret, if I have a secret, is a passion. Passion for, for gems, for jewels, for creativity. So I think that uh, determination and passion are two main keys. I love that. You were recently in Dubai just a few weeks ago for yes. a very special collaboration. Yes. The Middle East is very important to you. Yes, absolutely. It's very important and I love the way that uh, you, the women here, wearing jewels. Uh, we dare without being too minimal and <laughs> with and, uh, earrings and necklaces, uh, bracelets, everything. It's, I love this attitude for jewels. And the Jana collection, how did that collaboration come about with the royal family? Uh, I met uh, Her Highness and uh, she is so nice, so incredible woman, beautiful inside and outside. And immediately we got uh, the same feeling, the same, we shared the same values from family to friends to creativity to beauty. And so we started to talk about this and immediately we clicked. Amazing. Well, it's a beautiful collection and it's so special for this region. Yeah. Yeah. And it really identifies with the culture as well as the heritage of Bulgari. And finally, I want to ask you, because I know a lot of people don't understand the word creative director. It's, it's two words that hold so much responsibility, not only for creating and designing, but you really have to balance the heritage of the house to what modern design is. How do you balance that each season? Do you look back in the archives? Do you pull special pieces? How do you create a collection that is really true to the identity and the value system of Bulgari? It's very important to, to consult the archives. It's, it's important. And uh, my experience, my, my job, my responsibility is don't forget our DNA. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this reason, I consult the archives, but uh, never copy ourselves. But uh, with a touch of a contemporary, we want to maintain our DNA. It's very important. This is a big responsibility. And uh, me and my team, uh, we try to do our best, of course. It's beautiful. Today, we're going to take you to see a preview of the collection, which is your latest high jewelry collection inspired by Rome. Yes. How special is Rome to you? 
for me, I, yeah, I told you about my first source of inspiration, like becomes from jams. Yeah. And second source of inspiration comes from Rome. Rome. Rome is so special. It's a museum open space, and especially last two years, a very bad period that we passed. But I discover Rome. I discover Rome without people, and I discover again the beauty that uh, never ended beauty. Well, I can't wait to show you the collection. Follow us as we take you inside to see some of our favorite pieces. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. and sharing Thank your story. You. It's Thank always you. a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.